Jesus was a rock star. Comparing. It limits God and it hurts you. 2 Corinthians 10, 12. Oh, don't worry. We wouldn't dare say that we are as wonderful as these other men who tell you how important they are. But they are only comparing themselves with each other, using themselves as a standard of measurement. How ignorant. <laughs> I love how snide and irritated the Apostle Paul gets. I find that fantastically uh, enter entertaining. But comparing does some very bad things. Comparing elicits snide disapproving from God. Oh, what? You don't, you don't think so? You don't think Jesus gets, got snide and disapproving of comparing and people that compare themselves to the people around them and, uh, and thought they were better? No, Jesus, when it came to religious people, he was mean to those religious hypocrites. You brood of vipers. At one point, he hits them. He turns over tables. And you just might elicit snideness from the Apostle Paul or somebody like him. When you're just when you compare yourself to the guy next to you, say, hey, look, yeah, I'm doing great, better than that guy. Hey, at least I'm better than that guy. Number two, comparing causes unhealthy striving. So it's one thing, you might say, hey, I'm better than that guy, so I'm okay. But another thing comparing does is like, man, I'm not doing nothing like that guy's doing. And you begin striving. And you're not striving to get better yourself or to do more for God. You're striving because you want to feel better about what you're doing. And you're comparing. And so you are striving. And so you're working yourself to death. You're pushing yourself too hard. And that's the comparing trap. Number three, comparing creates jealousy. And I don't know, is there another emotion that is more unchristlike than jealousy? Man. And comparing creates that because we look at that and we see results that we're not getting or they got something that we don't have and, and, and begin, begin to get jealous. Man, I work harder than he does and he's got more money. Well, I'm, I'm smarter and better than that guy and look at, look at all the great stuff he has. And we get to start to get jealous. And that is a horrible place to be because jealousy, man, it's an ugly emotion. You are not happy when you are jealous. Jealousy is like one of the op is like the opposite of being grateful and content because you are coveting. You want something somebody else has. Now you probably don't even notice you're jealous. It takes a very self-actualized person to look inside of your own heart and to recognize an emotion as jealousy because your brain will try to do tricks on you to try to convince you that you're just being objective. I'm just observing or this or that or other thing. But that emotion grows. And, it, and it's jealousy. Ask God if there is jealousy growing in your heart. Because jealousy is an obstruction to unity. Because when you are jealous, you're not going to work to bless that person. You're not going to work to help that person. You're going to avoid that situation and you're going to undermine them. And that is, that is counterintuitive to the unity that God has. And, you know, say unforgiveness is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Jealousy is the same thing. When you are jealous, the only person that you are hurting is you. You are the one who is carrying that burden and having, uh, and having those problems. And so I want to encourage you today to look in your own heart and figure out where the jealousy is. So here's my question for you. Who are you jealous of? today. Now most of you are like, oh, I'm not jealous of anybody. Bo, I don't believe that. Now I only live in my own head, okay? I only live in my own head, so I only know what happens inside of me, okay? But I don't think I'm that different than everybody else. And I get jealous. And it's ugly. It's unchristlike. It's counterproductive. And God doesn't like it. He needs that out of me. And so I need to be able to recognize it, call it what it is, and then give it to God and say, God, I don't want to be this way. I don't want to be that guy. So who are you jealous of? And how are you going to change that? May the Lord richly bless you and hope to see you in church on Sunday. Jesus was a rock star.